Oh, God. Was the traffic? Yeah. 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 It was fun. All right. We're going to finish up with our media availability for the day. We are now joined by Austin Hill, driver of the number 21 for Richard Childress Racing. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get you a microphone. Start with Zach. Uh, I think Las Vegas is as good as any of them for us. You know, if you look back at our stats and how we've ran here uh, at Las Vegas, I think out of the three races we have coming up, um, this is the one for, for sure that we can uh, definitely take advantage of and, and get the job done and get get the win. feel really good about Homestead as well. I feel like we've, we've always performed and run r really well at Homestead, ran inside the top five a lot of the times at Homestead. And then Martinsville is kind of the one that's the curveball. So... I think that for us, if we don't win at Las Vegas or Homestead, we have to maximize the day and uh, really gain a ton of points on the rest of the field. That way, when we go into Martinsville, you know, if something crazy happens, uh, we have some stuff to fall back on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that RCR is, uh, as an organization, we just we just keep getting better. You know, I've I've seen it over the last three years that I've been, you know, at at RCR that um, each and every year we keep up in the program, um, whether it's Xfinity or Cup or coming a combination of both. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, really happy where I'm at, really happy with what RCR is doing going forward, and. Um, you know, can't wait to see what the rest of the, this season holds, but uh, also next year in 25. Maybe you have top fives here at Phoenix. What do you have to do to improve at Phoenix? Yeah, you know, I just I think it's one of those things that we might have had a car that was possibly capable of winning, and uh, you know, it comes down to the end of these races. Sometimes it doesn't work out for you. You know, restarts are are critical uh, in this series or any series. And, um, you know, I think if you look back at some of the races where I've finished second, third, fourth, uh, if we would have had a little bit better restart, if I would have got to the lead, had the clean air, we could have won the race just as easy as some of the other competitors did. So uh, I just think it's one of those things we got to stay aggressive um, all throughout this, these playoffs. Uh, we, we showed our aggression in uh, the last round, and we just want to keep that aggression up. We want to do it you know, as, as smart as possible, but we st still have to be very aggressive for these next three races to uh, give us a chance into that final four for Phoenix. Any additional questions? Reed. Not really. I mean, I, I I think for whatever reason, Martinsville hasn't been the greatest to me. Um, now I have ran inside the top five, and I've 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 been able to finish inside the top five at Martinsville, so it can be done. You know, I I can finish inside the top five, and I can get the job done at a place like Martinsville. But um, it's just one of those racetracks that you know the beating and banging happens a lot. You know, you play bumper cars a lot of the time, and. Um, it would be it would take a lot of weight off our shoulders if we were able to get it done at either Las Vegas or Homestead. That way, we don't have to worry about Martinsville. But if it if it ends up happening just like it did last year, where we're going in and, and we're really tight on points, uh, we just got to get up on the wheel and hope that it's enough. Go up here to Holly. Um, I don't think it changes a whole lot just because I think everyone that was in the uh, the round of 12 was capable of winning a championship. Um, I think that everyone from that was first in points all the way to the 12th could get it done. It's just how these playoffs work. I mean, uh, somebody like Justin Allgaier that's had a amazing year all year, he you know came very close to, to missing out on the next round. So um, it's just the way these playoffs are. You have to be – on it for all three races and if you do have a bad race that really puts you in a hole so 
Um, and sometimes it's not even your doing on, you know, some of the wrecks and things that happen on the racetrack. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I still view this round of eight just like I would have viewed it if it was the what we would call the best top eight cars. You know, I, I still think that you have to view it the same way. Everyone's a threat. And uh, we have to just try to be better than our competition these next three races. Back to Lee. Yeah, I mean, I, I would love to to be able to run cup one day uh, with RCR. You know, I don't know if or when that would happen. Next year, we are looking at hopefully running some uh, cup races. Got to still work out the details and stuff on that. But we are planning on hopefully running at least a handful. I don't know how many yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, if perfect case scenario would be here in the next handful of years to to be able to get the opportunity to run. Uh, in the Cup Series and, and it be with RCR. Uh, I really, you know, I talk about it all the time. I really enjoy racing for someone like Richard, Richard Childress. Uh, him and I have the same, you know, values and we go about things in the same manner for the most part. So uh, I hope to have a long career with RCR. Oh, back to Zach. Yeah, I think if you look at who's in the round of eight, I think that um, we are one of the top four drivers to our teams rather to make it into um, Phoenix. But you know, some a spoiler could e in you know easily win um, this race on Saturday that we wasn't really expecting to maybe be in the final four. Um, so you know, you always have that uh, in the back of your mind. I think that we do stack up pretty well with the rest of the competition. Um, do we do we think that we need to be better as a 21 team? Yes. I mean, I think everyone that you ask in the garage, they're going to all say the same thing that they can be better. Um, you know, unless you're winning 10 10 plus races, you you just feel like there's always more to to get. And um, you know, we've had a solid year this year, but uh, we still need to be better. So. Uh, we're constantly working, even though we're, we're getting down to these last four races, we're still trying to figure out things to, to be better as a race team, to be better with our um, packages for, you know, for me to be better as a driver and, and certain moves that I can make to, to, you know, just put myself in better positions at times. Um, so we're all, all, you know, always constantly working on that. But um, yeah, I think if you just look at the round of eight, uh, we, we are a top four team. Uh, we just got to do our job these next three races and, and make it into Phoenix, and then it's every, anyone's ball game at that point. Are there any final questions? Thanks, Austin. Good luck this weekend. Great job, driver.